It is really a pleasure to be back here at Indigio Live, at this live event. After a year of forced break, the meeting point of the worldwide geospatial community, community is finally live again. It's great to see so many of you here in the Hanover exhibition halls, visiting the booths of more than 250 exhibitors, attending the exciting presentations at the expo stage, or listening to the cutting-edge lectures and keynotes at the Intergeo conference. And Intergeo TV is broadcasting live for you from the event on the digital platform. So thanks for joining us. The conference started successful this morning with the opening and the keynotes. My colleague Günther Knappe met the president of the organizer DBW, Hans-Jörg Kutterer, at noon today for an interview. And directly afterwards, I had the pleasure to talk to Thomas Haring, president Hexagon Geosystems and CEO Leica Geosystems about the anniversary and 100 years of innovations from Herr Bruck. So watch the interviews now. Professor Dr. Hans-Jörg Kutterer, President of Intergeos, organizer DVW. Welcome in the Intergeo TV studio. Professor Kutterer, the conference reflects the Intergeo motto, inspiration for a smarter world in all its facets. Let's talk about the program and about changes and uh, challenges for the geospatial community. Thank you for the opportunity to be in here and I really have to admit that I'm very glad to be in Hanover on site. It's a great experience um, this year and uh, yeah, inspiration for a smarter world is uh, let's say setting the, the guideline for the next decade. It's, it's really a, a strong topic uh, we have to work with. Inspiration means that we need to get a mindset to, to understand and to do all the things. And then, of course, we have to talk about the smarter world. Smartness is technology on the one hand, but it also um, affects our uh, life in society, in, in public and professional life. And uh, this is one of the most challenging topics for our community, for the geospatial community for the next years. And so it's, it's really necessary that uh, Intergeo takes care and uh, really provides an opportunity, a platform, a forum to, to get informed, to get involved and uh, really to discuss. As we can see here in Hanover, uh, the expo as well as the conference shows that the experts on the one hand, as mm -hmm. you, like you, on the other hand, and the industry is on a good way. Mm -hmm. You see it the same way? Yeah, I think um, it's a good place to be. I think it's a um, really good uh, decision to, to um, connect the digital world and uh, the, the uh, real physical world uh, to, to have a hybrid uh, meeting here um, at this um, site that, that's very important and um, yeah, although the, the pandemic has set us a lot of restriction I think uh, it's also an opportunity which we have to see uh, together with a lot of challenges and <laughs> there are lots of uh, problems to be solved but, but nevertheless we did it for this year and uh, so it's, it's a new kind uh, of Intergeo which is uh, going to be developed and uh, we will see how this is accepted and of course it's, it's necessary for us to get the feedback but also to, to get our own impression how such an event uh, can be hosted, can be operated and, and will be accepted. So we are looking forward uh, to seeing how the, the Intergeo works in, in this different setting. But from our point of view, there are a lot of benefits uh, to be in a digital format because uh, it's independent of uh, geographic position. It's not, uh, does, it doesn't matter where you are, of course, when you are. If it's nighttime, it's a little bit problematic. But in daytime, it works quite well. If you attend such a meeting, of course, you have the personal meeting, the, the opportunity to meet colleagues and uh, long-term friends, professional friends, of course. And uh, what we also have is, is uh, with the digital format, to, to keep, to save, to store, um, the events, the information and uh, what, what's uh, the core of such 
an export conference. We have on the one hand uh, the Intergeo stage that reflects a lot of the topics you mentioned mm. already. On the other side there is the DVW conference we mm. already also mentioned. Let's stay with this with the program. It's on a very, very high standard, mm. but maybe you can tell yeah. us some highlights from your perspective. Yeah. I'm, I'm happy to do that. So we, we of course, uh, are really involved in digitalization. So uh, we talk about digital twins, for example, about B, BIM, building information modeling. Um, this is a very important topic. What I really appreciate to see is that digitalization is also visible in land management, for example, in uh, real uh, estate valuation. We, we talk about digital process of, of participation for participants. This is uh, one really impressive field and it shows that we also have to talk about digital workflows in the future much more than we did in the past. If we look at technology, for example, it's, it's about uh, mapping our environment using UAVs, unmanned aerial vehicles. It's about laser scanning, it's about radar technologies, it's about autonomous systems and robotics, which will do this more and more in future. I think it's, it's really challenging. I will also uh, one, would like to address the positioning component which we have. We have a couple of sessions and presentations in, in the context of positioning using global navigation satellite systems. There are still a lot of developments which are uh, interesting for us. And uh, of course, like we have in, in our motto, uh, the smarter world, smart cities. Smart cities uh, are becoming more and more feasible. They are no longer an abstract idea, but they are really a tool for administration and beyond. So, 21 is um, the first Intergeo physically. Mm -hmm. We stand here and we see all the people uh, meeting uh, again. It's also the beginning of a new decade. Mm. So let's have a look into the future. Mm. We'll be talking about autonomous drones, yeah. robotics, KI is a key word. Mm. So what you see coming yeah. in the next I, 10 I years. think that's it. Um, in a more classical picture, you had the typical surveyor going outside with his instrument, doing his job. This has uh, been uh, automized to, to a significant extent, and I think this will continue. Um, if we think of uh, laser scanning, for example, huge amounts of data in a very short time, there was also a lot, already a lot of integration of, of these different fields. But with the new amount of data, with the new kind of data, it's getting more and more complex and we need to, to deal with it, we need to handle it. And there, um, artificial intelligence and machine learning come in to support our work more than it was done before. I think it's, it's a step comparable to the automation, digitization in classical surveying instruments. Now it's more about data which we have to deal with and uh, work processes which we need to organize. And I think this is uh, one of uh, the topics for the next decade, to get also the work process is digital, that you can um, map it, model it, uh, them uh, on the computer, and then organize them, optimize them in a much better way. I think uh, this is uh, one part of uh, what, what we will be involved in. It's more about technology. But uh, we also have to speak about tasks. And uh, there, there are a lot of societal challenges. Look at the flooding in Germany, for example, this year. There are a lot of tasks also from the geospatial community which need to be solved um, in the pre-warning uh, pre alerting. Um, part, but but also in in dealing with uh, the natural hazards and and uh, to to um, improve the situation for for all people involved, there are lots of things to be done with uh, geospatial data, and I think that there will also be developments uh, to to have clear and uh, reliable processes 
Um, and this leads us to a third component and the final one which, which I want to mention here. This is interdisciplinarity. Mm -hmm. That's what we learned uh, in terms of the data. We as a community have a strong expertise, but we cannot do the things on their own. Neither can do the other disciplines. So we also have to, to cooperate, collaborate, in a closer way and this means that we also need to, to get in touch, better in touch with the communities and try to, to speak the same language. This is a challenge but, but I am very confident that uh, we will cover it and manage it uh, during this decade. Professor Dr. Hans-Jörg Kudera, President of the DVW, I think it's not only the two of us that are looking forward to these exciting InterGEO days in Hanover. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. So welcome Thomas Haring, President Hexagon Geosystems and CEO Leica Geosystems, part of Hexagon. Great to have you here. So how are you and how is the feeling right now after one year first break due to Corona? Thanks Denise, it's great, it's great to be at the InterGeo back. It's really, yeah? it's my 18th InterGeo wow. and I really missed it, I really missed it. So it's much more than exhibition or conference. Okay. It's meeting the community, and that's what I enjoy. That's interesting. It's my 10th interview this year. Yeah. So, okay. So, um, Thomas, but you're celebrating around birthday this right. year with Hexagon. Namely, it's 100 years of innovation in Herbrook. And therefore, I would like to briefly explain what Herbrook is to our visitors, if you don't know. Um, Herbrook is located in Switzerland and is the headquarter of Leica Geosystems and Hexagon Geospatial and is an essential component of the Hexagon Technology Group and you started exactly a century ago in 1921 as Heinrich Wild Werkstätte für Feinmechanik und Optik and Herbrook was repeatedly been the source of a major innovations. So we'll have a look at this 100 year history of innovation. So, um, Thomas, usually success stories um, of technology or innovation companies start in a garage or a shed, for example, <laughs> like Apple, Microsoft, mm -hmm. Bill Gates and so on. So, was it the same with the story um, of Apple? Yeah, it was a small house. And that's, if you're coming to a book right now, you would see, because we put it on one of our buildings. And at, in Hanover, if you are at the Intergeo in Hanover, you could go outside in the outdoor field. And there we have built something up as well to show you a little bit how the house looked like yeah. when Heinrich Will started back in 1921. Yeah, this is great. And we also got some pictures of your booth and yes. some video footage. This is why also our visitors right now can see the little shed Excellent. there, how it started. So this Beautiful Herbrook, yes. This is great. So. Um, your claim at Intergeo is 100 years of innovation from Herbrook. And so what role did innovation play in the, the company history? And what role does innovation play today? Uh, that's, I think in one sentence, very easy to answer. In the past, innovation was very important. When Heinrich Wild started, now it's essential. And we are known for innovation. And that innovation spirit is deeply entrenched in our organization. Mm -hmm. But maybe one comment on that. It was not Heinrich Wild alone. He was together with Robert Helpling and Jakob Schmidheine. It was really a team which made it happen. Mm -hmm. I think that's something which we do today as well. Developing things in a team because we depend on all our people. And we're not celebrating 100 years Herbrook only. We are celebrating all the thousands of people worldwide which have been with us on the journey, which is not over because the journey continues. Yeah, and you help them with your technologies and make life on. easier and easier Correct, to and they help us to really further develop it. Yeah, yeah. perfect. So um, can you give me examples of these game-changing innovations in the company history? Maybe you can look at the T2, the famous T2, which was really setting grounds, foundation for modern surveying. A really the, a great optic mechanical total station see the light at that time. And it was, I'm not sure how many years it was in the market. I have forgotten many, many years. And you can come to our booth and see it live there. Yeah? And it's interesting, I had a discussion earlier this morning with somebody who said, I'm still using it for training some of my people. Oh, really? It was That's fantastic, still in use. fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Our quality lasts forever. That's perfect. <laughs> That's a great example. <laughs> so, um, Looking back at the company history, um, which one is your favorite product and why? I'm sure you understand that I really can't answer that. <laughs> because of I need the to be careful. huge amount of innovation. And I, yes, <laughs> no, but in general, I think 
it's important to look at the different technologies which we have further developed. Yeah? Total station technology, it's fantastic what we have done out of that, from the woods dating back 100 years. GNSS over 40 years, yeah? where we have the GS18i, a fantastic product. We have radar technology, um, which is 20 years ago, and scanning technology, which we show in our booth as well, with fantastic new products, BLK Arc and BLK to fly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then maybe a smaller one, a personal thing, a small product, a Leica Lino L2, which is not such a famous product, but it was one product which we launched 16 years ago. A simple line laser, but with a really nice design. And that's something I think we have seen over so many years, how important design is in addition to technology. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for summarizing that. And you just mentioned some of the new technologies, the BLK Arc to go and to fly. We just already saw here yes. at your booth. And um, yeah, you just looked a bit in the past and summarized this, but can you also get a glimpse of the future? So where's the company heading to? Oh, if you would know, of course we know our strategy, <laughs> our vision, our purpose, because we are as passionate as um, Heinrich Wild has been 100 years ago. Um, we're heading towards a more autonomous future. And what does it mean? We are really trying to utilize the data. We are good in capturing data, we are good in preparing data for work, and we have more and more applications where we help the customers to put their data to work in all the different areas they are acting in, together with the customers, to solve their problems, whether it's surveying, whether it's other industries. Yeah? And we are interested to learn more about customer problems. So if somebody has an interesting application, interesting problem where he needs support, please come to our booth, talk to the experts. Maybe don't talk to me, I'm not the expert of everything here, but I will find you the right person to talk to. <laughs> Okay, I think people will do so. Um, we just mentioned in a, in a sentence the BLK Arc to go. It, it's yes. named like that, yeah. For me, it's the hidden champion, the social media star, because it's kind of a dog who's walking there. And I saw so many people um, taking their mobiles and making screenshots of it on photos, pictures. And I saw it on Instagram already. Uh, it's, it's kind of a hidden champion, a little star. Hopefully not a <laughs> hidden champion, <laughs> but you're absolutely right. This video is a superstar. And it's fantastic what the Leica BLK Arc does yeah, and what kind of solution it now offers. Yeah, that we have really a real reality capture device on top of the famous Boss Dynamic Spot. It's fantastic. But another superstar is the BLK to fly, the Leica BLK to fly. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, we can't fly it at the booth inside. But I really um, would like everybody to ask for a demo that we can show you and, um, how it really works. Because it's a flying sensor. It's not a UV, it's a flying sensor. That's wow. something we are very proud of as well, what the team achieved there. Fantastic. Great. Yeah, That's It's always great to see this innovation coming out. Yeah, so. Perfect. And trust me, there's much more on the roadmap. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, Thomas, thank you very much for having us, having you here in our Intergeo TV show and being part here of Intergeo 2021. And, uh, yeah, giving us these insights into 100 years of innovations made in her book. So, um, you are a company that combines traditional innovation in the best sense. So, thank you very much for that. Thanks a lot. We try to give our best. Yeah, and looking forward to the continuous discussions with our customers and, of course, with the Intergeo team. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Enjoy Intergeo. Thanks a lot. See you soon. So the concept of Intergeo is hybrid. That means that you can stream lectures from the expo and the conference, but you can also visit the exhibitors. And my colleague Lennart Preuss shows you how it works and takes you on a virtual expo tour. Lennart. Yes, thank you, Denise. I will visit Bentley Systems now. Bentley Systems is a global provider of software solutions for engineers, architects, geospatial professionals and designers. And now I will join into their digital booth. So we will meet here in the room three. And we can say hello to our friends from Bentley Systems. Can you hear us? Come to two, weren't you uns? Hello? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. So, how was your first day here at Intergeo? Nadine, I'll Very good. to you. <laughs> uh, Nadine, uh, can yes. you? <laughs> yes, sure. <laughs> yes, it was good. We had some good, um, good conversations, some good, um, yeah, questions coming in from the visitors. Um, yeah, for tomorrow we have some 
some more visitors will, will be coming in. We have already scheduled some meetings. And we also had a presentation today at the Expo stage, so, uh, Smart City Solutions. So that was very good. So and looking forward to day two and day, day three. <laughs> that sounds good. And, uh, so uh, you and, are... uh, I, I have not uh, had the opportunity to 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 come this year. Uh, otherwise, uh, I've been uh, always to NTA. Uh, so it's a sad, uh, sad year that I'm not there. <laughs> mm. But the, so the hybrid concept is perfect for you because you are now at Intergeo and you are not in Hanover. So yeah, yeah, it's definitely yeah. a benefit for you. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's true. So. Please tell me something about your daily business when you're not on the Intergeo hybrid. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe maybe to say a few words about Bentley uh, that we are uh, we are a large global uh, 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 software company uh, provides software and services uh, advancing uh, infrastructure. Uh, so we work with everything that uh, helps the society to work uh, better and uh, also addressing sustainability and uh, other aspects of uh, efficient uh, uh, from uh, early phases of planning, uh, planning, design and uh, also uh, the uh, building and the construction uh, of infrastructure uh, and operation. So we work with all the sectors and help uh, asset owners and uh, cities and uh, also engineering companies, consultants to uh, to uh, implement projects and uh, to run business. So you talk a lot about. Uh, the economics and the building of cities. So my personal highlight of Bentley was the open flow program. Can you tell me something about this thing, this software solution? Yeah, uh, the, uh, uh, I mean, in general, we, uh, uh, so the water uh, segment is, is, is a very, uh, uh, very important area in, in Bentley uh, and addressing the sustainability and, and also the uh, resilience that uh, many of the, uh, the cities experience uh, today, the climate uh, change and the flooding and uh, et cetera. So uh, a range of uh, uh, water products, uh, they cover everything from the design of uh, water systems to supply water and drainage and uh, and uh, uh, sewage etc and and also the uh, operation so we have real time sensors and building a digital twin out of the uh, the uh, water system and how it relates to the uh, the city infrastructure so that is one of the products we have on display in the booth. Uh, we also have, of course, uh, very much a, a center around the iTwin, sorry, the, uh, the digital twin of uh, uh, an operation, uh, very much a centered around uh, creating a reality. Uh, we have products for uh, creating mesh models, etc., cetera, and, uh, and uh, handling point cloud data and etc. So very much uh, managing large amounts of data and to analyze and and put those into a context of a digital twin. But also the the uh, engineering side, the BIM models, uh, also to be synced into a, a, a common infrastructure together with the GIS information, etc. So it's. Uh, uh, no, it's a combined combination and integration of different informations into a, a combined federated uh, digital twin model. That sounds super interesting. <laughs> but putting all this yeah. <laughs> in different information into each other and figure out some models to build more, build better in the future, it's definitely a great thing when I think about the climate change and all the other problems we are looking forward to into the next years. Um, Nanette, as a part of the new digital sales team of Bentley, Vituosity, I think, can you tell us how are you helping architects, designers, engineers and all kind of onboard microstation and other Bentley software and deliver successful projects? Sure, <clears throat> sure Leonard. Um... 
Uh, okay, my job is not the, the, the most thrilling one, maybe in Bentley, because uh, I'm <laughs> my, my my main job is uh, to to cover the sales in uh, EMEA for MicroStation. But MicroStation is the the cat basis for all the uh, for all the open products that Bentley is producing. That means MicroStation Technologies is is included in open flows, open ground, open uh, open bridge, open roads. They are, they are all based on microstation. So at the end, we cover a lot of uh, different varieties, or we take care for a lot of different varieties of uh, of engineers of all uh, of all color. And in the digi digital sales unit that we that has been created last year, we uh, uh, started selling an annual subscription um, in addition to the existing perpetual license. Um, program and together with the annual subscription it, we always include uh, free expert services with the with the product for this this very first year and we that means we have experts for the product uh, in our user success team and they they are there to to serve the customers with their with their knowledge and they can always rely on on uh, these these uh, user success people to uh, to get help whenever they need it, and uh, in terms of digital twins, uh, it's always a best a good starting point. Let's say that way, if you start with MicroStation, because as I said, as a cat basis for all the other products, it's the first step on your journey towards a digi digital twin. Because without cat, you cannot design a digital twin. And in addition to that, and then I'm more or less through. <laughs> Um, what we what we invented new also for for the customers is that we increased our social selling activities. That means we uh, ha are having uh, live sessions in regular terms that are really live. That means no prepared PowerPoint. Uh, we have an expert for the product that uh, talks about special topics that address the user's challenges, the, the user's daily challenges that they have in their daily workflow. And we're grabbing out all, uh, all the time such little topics, create uh, um, blog posts for that and have uh, a live session on that. And this was covered by additional webinars to dive deeper into the topic. So that, we, that, that means we really try to give them a whole experience of, of what they need to be successful uh, with, the, with, with their daily work. But this is all digital because it's the new digital sales team of Bandit. Correct. So, Correct. Okay. Correct. Cool. And then I, I can book, for example, an a expert session and then I get all the information that you told me. Correct, and um, this is not only for MicroStation. This is for all the all the software varieties that we sell. We have a website. You can order this uh, uh, each software directly through the website. The, uh, each each license includes a certain amount of of uh, training sessions or or um, project help sessions, whatever you want to call that. And you can just reach out to to your user success uh, manager and then arrange uh, a day time when. You meet virtually and you get the help you need. That's definitely cool and make it way easier to work with all these software things and all kind of your solutions, I think. Um, what are you expecting the next days? We already talked about that you have tomorrow a few more dates with experts, some presentations. So if you want to tell the Intergeo community something that they can expect on your digital booth the next two days, the, the stage is yours. So give me a few last words. <laughs> so from my point of view, we have lots of experts live through this <clears throat> uh, virtual reality uh, that attend. So whenever you, you have a certain problem, just reach out to, to the welcome reception, ask for the topic that you are interested in, and we'll easily are able to, to uh, bring the expert directly to your, uh, to your meeting room. That's for my part. 
And, and uh, also, if I can add in uh, as well, uh, I mean, we, we have uh, also showing uh, other aspects of the digital twin, uh, also for the, infra uh, the uh, in digital infrastructure and uh, for construction and civil design. Uh, so we have a lot of uh, products and solutions that we, uh, we are presenting in the booth and uh, we are um, happy to receive any visitors and, and to explain what it uh, can provide uh, as a value, as well as the uh, the latest from kind of uh, the geospatial or the uh, reality modeling uh, portfolio uh, for handling, uh, creating a, a, a reality mesh uh, of uh, of uh, the reality and uh, point cloud handling, etc. Uh, so we. We have a lot of interesting stuff to show, and uh, we are excited to uh, to meet you. So, or uh, in this uh, in the booth. <laughs> <laughs> then I wish you all the best for the next two days and a bunch of new visitors in your digital booth. And yeah, I will meet you tomorrow, and we'll check out and talk with a few of the other experts. And yeah, I will say goodbye and we will go back to Denise. Thank you for having Thanks. us. Thank you. Thanks. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you, Leonard, for showing us how it works with the virtual tool. This was very interesting and it looks quite easy. <laughs> it's definitely super easy to join the digital expo booth. And I think it's so good with all these travel restrictions. And so we are here in Hanover. We can feel the whole expo area but it's still possible for people all over the world to feel the Intergeo feeling without being here in Hanover. Yeah, this is why the concept of Intergeo is hybrid. <laughs> <laughs> so thanks, Leonard. Okay, so find out now which highlights you definitely shouldn't miss on Wednesday. At 5 p.m. at the Expo stage, you can experience the revolution of the precision agriculture with Nicoletta Getcheva. And Already at 20 minutes past 1 p.m., you will experience intelligent and automated road design with smart infra modeling technology with Marius Reuters. All that in the expo. And in the conference, in the BIM session at 11 a.m., hear valuable and simple use cases to secure infrastructure knowledge with Lisa Wolf. And of course, you will discover numerous solutions and products from the exhibitors that will help you to solve your problems or show you new approaches. So we hope that you enjoy Intergeo. Oh, and we have some more impressions to fi fin finish that day. So please enjoy now with the latest impression of the first day of Intergeo 2001. This was Intergeo TV on the live stream today for you here at the digital platform live from the exhibition hall. See you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Bye.